Containers are lightweight and it's common to run dozens of them on the same host machine. Containers are also black boxes, often invisible to traditional host-based tools. The first struggle translates to how do I know what is happening during runtime inside these containers? This is where Falco comes into play. Cloud native tools like Falco can see everything each individual container is doing and easily flag suspicious behavior like why this Redis container shouldn't be opening connection outside the network or why it is opening them or else the question why did a file change on this Apache server or on the Nginx server for that matter. Falco can enable you to answer these sort of questions. Falco works by analyzing kernel system calls to provide deep visibility into container, host, and cluster activity. It also taps into other data sources such as Kubernetes API audit events. Equally important, Falco adds Kubernetes application context to its finding to help DevOps, security, and cloud teams understanding exactly who did what and where. Falco is the first runtime security project to join CNCF as an incubation level project. Falco acts as a security camera, detecting unexpected behavior, intrusions, and data theft in real time. Falco detects threat at runtime by observing the behavior of your applications and containers. Falco extends threat detection across cloud environment with Falco plugins. One of the main things about Falco is that it is monitoring only tool. It can send alerts to one or more channels, but it cannot take any action by itself. So if you see in this diagram on the left hand side, we have Kubernetes cluster and then Falco is making some system calls and then sending the output to um, the destinations like standard output, a file, syslog, any spawn program any HTTP or HTTPS endpoint, or even a client via the gRPC API. In this simple video, we are going to see how to install Falco on AWS EKS Kubernetes cluster. I have already provisioned an EKS cluster with one managed node group. We cannot use Fargate here, as Falco needs a daemon set which is not yet present in Fargate. I have also already deployed a simple Nginx deployment, which can be monitored through CloudWatch when Falco sends the data to it through AWS FireLens. So here this workflow basically works. Falco continuously scans your EKS cluster. So and in EKS cluster, what Falco is scanning is your, your containers running in the pod. And then Falco sends the security debug or audit events as JSON format on the standard output or a file and then fire lens, which is basically a front bit. It then collects the JSON log file and processes the log files as per fluent bit configuration files. Post log transformation by fluent bit containers, then these logs are finally sent to AWS CloudWatch as a final destination where you can see them in the CloudWatch log groups. Okay, now enough theory, let's delve into uh, how to install this Falco on our AWS EKS cluster. As I mentioned, I already have provisioned the AWS EKS cluster and I could show you real quick. I have just one managed node group running into it. So you can see there is only one managed node group. Let's check how many namespaces are there. Only the default ones. Let's check if any deployment or pod is running into our um, default namespace. There is one in the next and it is simply a deployment with three pods running into that. And let's quickly check the pods too. Okay, so there are three pods running which are in ready and running state. That's cool. Okay, now let's start delving into how to deploy the Falcon this AWS EKS cluster. Let me clear the screen. Cool. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to clone the rep repository from Sys Labs about Falco, and I have 
uh, given the link to that github repo in the uh, video description i have already cloned it and it shows like this if you see it has two folders one is ecs and eks in the eks folder you will find um, sorry in the aws folder you will find that there will be an im policy which will be which we will be attaching to the worker node or the managed node role and then which is automatically attached to the worker node because we have already deployed it into the eks cluster this policy will give falco running on the worker node to send logs to the cloudwatch second directory which you will find in that repo will be kubernetes and in then kubernetes directory you will have um three files config map daemon set and service account these files will be applied to create a config map for fluent bit configuration a fluent bit daemon set to run on all worker nodes and finally a service account for the rbac cluster node for authorization and all these files will be applied at once because we'll be applying the directory and i will shortly show you how okay so first step let's create a policy which will be called as EKS CloudWatch log with privileges to send logs to Amazon CloudWatch. Okay, so I'm going to run this command. And I guess I would need to Okay, so I'm creating this policy. It is unable to file this parameter file, which is fine. Uh, I need to go into this directory. So as you can see, we have this uh, EKS file. We Falco also work on ECS, but in this example, we are just doing our uh, e for the EKS. So that is fine. You can see there's a flame with directory. Now let's try creating this policy now. Okay, so this worked at this time, which is fine. Now we need to attach this policy to EKS node role. And this is the role that is attached to our worker node so that they can talk to CloudWatch. So I'm going to attach this policy to that role. And you can, you need to just supply the role name and you can find it with your cluster name in your IEM. So let me attach the policy to that role. This is taking a bit of a time, but which is fine. It happens sometimes. Okay, so that's all done. Now, then apply the whole directory and all the listed configuration uh, files. So let me apply the whole directory here. Oh, sorry, I need to go back a step. Okay, so as you can see, it has created a lot of stuff and uh, we can check it. Okay, so the deploy is there. We could even check our all of the pods in all namespaces just to make sure everything is running. Okay, it was unable to find it. Okay, again a typo. Sorry about that. Okay, as you can see, we have Fluent Bit running in the default namespace, which is great. Okay, cool. So we have done this. Now we need to download our Falco repository, which I already have. And in this uh, repository, um, you can clone it and i will also put the link in our description uh, but in this repository we will find all the falco rules and all the related files and you can simply uh, clone it and then run it in your account i already have cloned it one thing i would like to show you in this falco directory is this values file in this values file make sure that you have uh, put json underscore output true so that it could send the logs to CloudWatch in the JSON format. 
also if you want you can check out various other files in this repo like um, application re related rules falco rules and even kubernetes audit rules but let's uh, check it later now i'm going to install the falco hem chart first i'm going to add it to our repo so this has been added which is great now just let's install it it takes a bit of a time but then it says it is unable to find the values file okay so i think okay i need to go into that directory which is like okay i need to change my directory yeah one more Need to go into the Falco directory. No, and hopefully the values file is there. Yeah, it's there. So let's me let me try again. Okay, so now I believe it has find it, which is good. It has installed the hem chart for this Falco, and you can see the status is deployed, which is nice. Let's have a look at all the namespaces and all the things which are running. Let me clear this. Okay, in a typo. Okay, so as you can see, we have now Falco running and it is in the init state. So let me put it on watch and see how it goes. Now, as you can see, the status is pod initializing and now it is uh, in the status is running state, but not all of them are ready. So let's wait for them to come into ready state. It doesn't take too long because it is quite lightweight. And let's also check its status while it is coming into the ready and running state. And I'm going to describe it. Here I'll describe board name and as you can see that it is running in our default namespace. I needed to put board here. Okay, good stuff. So as you can see, it has successfully signed it. Image pull is great. I, I don't see any error there for now, which is nice. Let's see the status now. Okay, cool. So as you can see, everything is in the running and ready state, which is great. And now we need to check if we could so once it is in this state you can be rest assured that when your application is running it will start sending the logs to the cloud watch um, for the cloud watch it takes a bit of a time around sometimes i have seen that five to ten minutes until it appears in the uh, cloud voice logs but once it is running you can be rest assured that whatever nginx deployment is running in your kubernetes uh, cluster and if falco is installed then it will send start sending the data to that cloud watch group so in order to see the logs in the cloud watch all you need to do is to go into the cloud watch within your console or any other tool and then go to log groups just type falco and it will show you the Falco logs. I hope that this video helped. If you have any questions or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you very much.